There are hundreds of unsolved homicides. Some families have spent decades waiting for answers. Each week we feature their stories and case files, and tonight we take a look at some of the new developments. Here's I-Team reporter Christina Williams. We've talked with families who are frustrated and others who are not giving up hope in the fight to find answers. For family and friends of murdered or missing people, they want justice. And in some cases, that means charges. And for others, it is simply answers to the questions that can close a chapter. In Paulding County, there's new information this year in the cold case of Nancy Eagleson. The homicide of the young girl dates back to 1960. She was kidnapped, sexually assaulted, and then found dead in the woods. Eagleson's sister is dedicating her life to finding answers. I don't feel they're putting enough effort into doing what I want to do. People need to be interviewed. They're not getting interviewed. Uh, people have a story to tell out there. In July, autopsy results were released after her remains were disinterred, and it shows Nancy was shot not once, but twice, and a bullet was found with the remains. That bullet turned into a dead end for investigators, who say they're unable to do a comparison. In Toledo, the case of Cricket Zagara revealed a new photo of the young woman who was murdered while walking home. It's been decades without answers, and detectives say the only way to crack the case is for someone to come forward. This is just waiting on someone to, you know, come forward. Um, and at that, this point, that's what it would take, is someone with knowledge of the crime and maybe some of the details that were never released um, to contact us and, and, you know, give us something else to work with. And the untimely death of young mother Tabitha Guth, decades after she was killed, her family member makes a plea for closure. We talked every day. She was one of my best friends. And so, you know, for this stuff to go down the way it went down and um, still having no answers after all these years, um, it's devastating. Plus, it's the mysterious death dating back to the late 80s. A woman found dead, wrapped in carpeting and set on fire. Detectives never answered the question of who is Jane Doe. Now there's a new push. Toledo police are working with the state crime lab in Ohio with the hopes of finally putting a name to the face. You know, it's been so long, uh, we really, we really hope to get her identified uh, because she's, you know, somebody's family member, daughter, sister. Uh, it's just, it's just something that we, we need to get done. For this week's Case Files, Christina Williams, 13 Action News. If you have any information about these cases, you're asked to contact your local police department. And if you have an unsolved case that needs attention, email me, casefiles at 13abc.com. Reporting for the I-Team, Christina Williams, 13 Action News.